Hey there, I'm Sam and welcome to Barrier Breakers Corner. Today we'll be treating two very young men to a special makeover. First, we're going to take them to get a haircut, then to a fashion shop for them to, you know, get an outfit. And then we're going to sit down with them and have a chat, get to know them better. You guys probably have heard of Solix, so today you get the chance to know Solix. Stick and stay. My name is Enes Solomon Cisse and I'm the co-owner of Solix. And I am Felix Dowder, co-owner of Solix. Well, Solix started off as a, just something fun, uh, taking pictures with our phones, going to the beach, hanging out, taking pictures of the beach and all of that. But um, as time went on, we started taking pictures of friends and uh, they gave us more feedbacks and asked that we try to take it more seriously. So. Um, we decided to buy a camera and then before you know we're buying lights and before you know we're actually getting bigger and bigger into it and we took it as a focus. Alright guys, so we've been to the barbing salon, we've been to the fashion shop, and now we get to sit down and talk and get to know the famous Sonix. So guys, we've seen you shoot a lot of big names, I'd say, um, in Gambia, you know, artists like Hussein and all that. But also, you've gone all the way to Senegal, you worked in Senegal for a couple of months, and you shot Dip, uh, Dip the Biggest, who is one of the biggest rappers, not only in Senegal, but in Africa as well, I think. So, how did it feel, you know, working with such, such, such big names? It did feel great. It did feel great. Um, especially when it all happened so fast, because it was never something we expected. But um, we got a call, like, like you said, we got a call to walk in the car. We were there for about a month or two. And now we got to work with names like Deep and uh, Jaman and more others. It was, it was really overwhelming, especially knowing that um, uh, I got called all the way from Gambia to come to Dakar just to do this. It really did feel good. And um, uh, we felt proud that um, people could look at us and know that we're actually coming from the Gambia and something good can actually come from the Gambia. Mm -hmm. And we also saw that like, we were represented because when we're in Dakar, we, we meet people that are like, oh, you're from Gambia, you know? Yeah. We, we kind of represented yeah. our, our people. So then we having that kind of influence on, on, on the just within that few time when we, were, when we were there was really nice because most people would actually think that we, we were Senegalese and we, when we, if, when we ever like we were in Dakar people actually be like why don't you stay in Dakar we, we need you here yeah, more yeah. but then it, we are Gambians so we have to represent our place. It was it was it was also great uh, personally because um, um, people around us especially family like we spoke on earlier um, the support yeah. um, uh, especially our parents were able to see that okay this is something that um you don't just need uh, an official job or something like a, 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 an international job for you to be able to travel you could also still be a photographer and you know do a lot more than they think you know so it, it, we were really proud and we're really happy that we we're able to make our family proud as well nice we love to hear that we love, we love exactly. making mama proud yes. <laughs> exactly. that's, 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 that's the goal. Right, so we've spent the whole day together. You know, we've been to the barber shop, we've been to the fashion shop, and now we're finally here. Mm -hmm. And this is all thanks to Barry Breakers Corner. So, how did it feel when you got the call that Barry Breakers wanted to do this? They wanted to celebrate you guys. And what was your experience throughout the day? How did it feel being big spoiled? 
I was I was surprised yeah. to be honest. Like when you when you called, I was I, I thought it was a joke. I had to actually call yeah. call your partner to actually confirm that okay <laughs> it was real. But then it's actually you know it's nice from time to time for these kind of things to be happening. You know as young people as guys, some it's it, it's necessary once in a while, and we appreciate. We appreciate it, yeah. It's it's more of an encouragement, um, uh, which is very necessary for smaller businesses, and um, it's something we should encourage, not just a barrier breaker, but uh, it's something a lot of people outside could also learn from, and uh, we could all try to encourage smaller businesses, and um, it just gives you that feeling that okay, someone is seeing me, as or some people are seeing me, and they love what I do, and I just need to continue and. You never know how far it goes. It might just emerge. It could be someone playing football, and then next ten years we have one of the best football players in the world, or it could be anything. So just just a little encouragement could go a very long way. And we want to say thank you so much to Barrier Breakers. Well, you heard it from Sonic themselves. It was a really nice experience. They say they felt encouraged, of course. And encouragement can go a long way, especially when you're so young and you're starting off something so new. You know, just to feel like you are appreciated, it will go along. I'm pretty sure this is just fueling them up even more to do, to do more, to do more, to do more, more, more celebrated. Well, guys, we're almost at the end of the interview. So just one final question. You know, what would you say to young people who want to go into photography? Because at the end of the day, people have seen what you guys are doing. I'm pretty sure there's a young Felix or a young Solomon out there somewhere <laughs> saying, when I grow up, I want to be like Solix. You know, I want to be producing amazing, amazing art, art like this. So what would you say? Well, what, what I could say to is just that, like, it's something that my dad used to tell me, whatever you're doing, do it good. So whatever it is, uh, even if it's your business, even if it's something that doesn't have to be regarded like to photography, yeah. just do it well and focus. Because nowadays you have a lot of things that can distract you and know that it's a process. You, you just don't get up and expect things to happen. It's gonna take time, so enjoy the enjoy the process. Enjoy what you do. Like create something that is very nice. Yeah, just exactly. It's, it's, it's not easy, but then it will happen. Yeah. Like 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 you said. Um, you just put your all into it. Um, it doesn't happen overnight. And um, a lot of people have the understanding that uh, oh, photography is pretty easy. You just need a camera. You just need to take a picture and then your work is easy but then um when you get into it you do realize that okay it's not as easy as you think especially when you're doing it as a business so uh, just have the uh, your mind prepared that it's not easy especially when it's in the Gambia like we said we've mentioned some of the issues we had with finance equipment some days as a photographer and any other photographer would tell you this either in Gambia it's something very common as a photographer, there are days you would feel like, I don't want to do this anymore. I hate this job. Either from stress from the work or stress from a customer. Or you might feel like, I don't want to do this again, but then there are the days where I love this job. Yeah. So you just need to find in the balance and know that this is what I want to do. And um, just be determined, that's all. And give it 100. Always keep learning as well. Basically, as you're saying, just and uh, going to anything they are doing, especially even photography with an open mind, do not, do not have unrealistic expectations. Just go to an open, an open mind and it will happen. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. You've heard from Solix, you've gotten to know them even better, if, especially if you're a fan. Now you've gotten to know how they struggled and how they got to where they are right now. Well, a huge thanks to Barrier Breakers Corner for making this possible. We're all about celebrating young people, encouraging young people. And of course, thanks to the guys behind the camera. That's um, Manuel and Sam, Samuel Masakoy. And of course, a big thanks to our barbers, the barber salon we went to, which is Yang's Barber Shop. Um, Bax Barber, he did an amazing job, as you can see, the boys look fly, as I'd say. Um, a big thanks to Lang Fal, he got the boys looking all drippy, as the young people say now. And of course, to Rosewood Cafe, that is where we are right now. Well, until next time, keep on breaking barriers. I've been Sam. <laughs>